morning. It's Wednesday, April 27, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Cross-Bearing, and our scripture is Philippians chapter 2, where the Apostle Paul writes, You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Paul's words to the church reminds us that the man who died on Calvary wasn't like any other man. He was God. Paul said that Jesus made himself nothing. One Bible translation uses the word emptied. The picture is one of sacrifice. In the temple, a sacrifice of an animal was made for sin. The blood and water were poured on the altar and emptying. Like that picture, imagine God was in one form in heaven. Like a glass contains water and can be emptied, so God poured himself into the form of a man and died for us. Of course, Paul was looking back to what Jesus said about following. A disciple becomes just like the master. And what Jesus said about that was it would include the more sticky parts of that which Jesus was willing to do for others. Luke chapter 9. Then he said to the crowd, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross daily, and follow me. Those acts of worship and service, doing things for other people, are not bad or a waste of time. True disciples do all that and much more. But cross-bearing is beyond just being kind or helpful or committed to routines or rituals. It's the attitude Paul said Jesus had, being willing to die for others, people who didn't have a clue how much of a gift was coming their way, even the ones who shouted out, crucify him, and the ones who engineered having him nailed to the cross. So what about us? those of us who claim to follow him as disciples. Do we have the Christ-likeness to give ourselves up for poor people in our county? How about people of different skin color? What about the unchurched and uncaring? What about the dirty street people? Beloved, following the master in true cross-bearing, emptying oneself for the sake of another, is a far cry from deciding to fry chicken for homecoming this year. For you today, if you've ever been challenged at this point of discipleship to become a cross-bearing follower of Jesus, you've also asked the question, why? Why should I do that? Aside from the obvious, the response to his loving death on a cross for you, there's another most personal reason. It has to do with the result of cross-bearing. So, Let me tease you into tomorrow's devotion. If cross-bearing is the decision, crown-wearing is the destination. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.